In this video we're going to have a look at priming the fuel system on a Cummins generator after changing the fuel filter. This is a 500 kVA Cummins generator. It's got a QSX15 engine in it. And we're about to change the fuel filter and we're going to prime the system. Now you this is the fuel priming pump, the electric one. Uh, this is the plug that goes into it. It's a two pin Deutsch plug. And we're going to have a look at how to manually prime this. Um, I don't know how to do it on the screen interface. I'm pretty sure you can't on this, on this generator anyway. And we don't have a computer hook up, but there's an easy way that you can prime the fuel filter after you change it so that you don't get air through your fuel rail and um, hurt your injectors. So we've put our new filter on and now I'm just putting the water contamination sensor plug back in to the bottom of the filter. It also has a 2 pin Deutsch plug but it has nothing to do with priming the fuel. It's just a sensor. So we're going to prime our fuel system manually by running power to the fuel pump that we we're looking at. This is a dual coil harness and it's got a Deutsch plug on one end and just two little alligator clips on the other so that you can clip onto the battery. The, the dual core is rated for 30 amps so it lets plenty of power through and uh, it's never going to burn out. It's more than enough to run these little electric pumps. So these are our starting batteries. So we're going to put our negative clamp on the negative pole and then we're going to put our positive clamp on the positive pole. And we want to get 24 volts to that fuel pump. If you're not quite sure how to get 24 volts out of your battery or if you've hooked it up properly, just put get a voltage tester and put that where you put your negative pole and then put your probe where you put your positive clamp and you'll see that you've got 24 volts. So we know we've got 24 volts through our little cable to our Deutsch plug and we can verify that by sticking our voltage tester probe into the Deutsch plug. You can see on pin 1 we've got 24 volts and um, that's important you got to get the voltage on the right side of that pin you don't want to hook it up in reverse. If you look at the back of a Deutsch plug you'll see it'll have numbers on it. Uh, you can see one written there on the left side and two on the other side. I've got it upside down. That's better. So we want, we want the 24 volts positive on pin 1. So now we can go ahead and pull the plug that comes with the engine harness out of the fuel pump and install our plug and that will start the fuel pump up and start the priming process. And I usually run this for at least 30 seconds and you'll hear the sounds change as it purges the air out of the system. After about 30 seconds you're pretty safe to start it. If you don't do this when you, if you just put a dry filter on and start it up, your engine will start up at an idle and then you'll hear a couple of loud knocks and it will shut down. And that's because you have pushed air through the fuel rail and uh, the engine's lost fuel pressure and shut down. And it's very bad for the injectors, they, they literally run dry and it's a terrible idea. You should prime your fuel system first to get long service life out of your injectors. So that's been long enough. There's a nice uh, consistent sound coming out of the fuel pump, so it must have a full rail of fuel. So we'll pull our plug out and put the engine harness one back in. These fuel pumps are only for priming, they don't run under normal operating conditions. So now we'll go to start our engine and it should start up fine and we should hear no knocks. And it's running well there. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section.